Javed Saab, could I please request you to address the convocation? दोस्तों उन लोगों की बड़ी मुश्किल होती है जो बाद में बोलने के लिए आते हैं अब रवि गुप्ता जी और सुभाष जी के बाद क्या कोई ऐसी बात रह गई है जो मैं कह सकूं मैं सिर्फ शुक्रिया ही अदा कर सकता हूं लेकिन उससे पहले एक दो लफ्ज ये कहना चाहूंगा कि अभी कुछ दिन पहले मेरे बहुत अजीज दोस्त गुलजार साहब को एक बहुत बड़ा अवार्ड मिला तो वो कहने लगे कि भाई ये बुढ़ापे की निशानी है ऐसे अवार्ड से बुढ़ापे में दिए जाते हैं जवानी में कभी नहीं मिलते तो मैंने अर्ज किया कि हुजूर राइटर का मामला तो बिल्कुल उल्टा है वो तो जैसे जैसे बूढ़ा होता जाता है वैसे वैसे उसका आर्ट जवान होता जाता है और जब ऐसा कोई अवार्ड मिल जाता है जैसा कि आज मुझे मिला है तो बिल्कुल ऐसा लगता है जैसे उस जवानी के माथे पे सेहरा बांध दिया गया हो मैं इस बहुत कीमती और भारी भरकम सेहरे के लिए विस्लिंग वुड का सुभाष जी का अपनी बेटी मेघना का आप लोगों का और उस फिल्म इंडस्ट्री का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूं जिसने मुझे ये इज्जत दी है क्या मैं एक बात जरूर कहना चाहूंगा कि आप लोग बड़े खुशकिस्मत हैं जो यहां बैठे हुए हैं स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं कि उनके साथ सुभाष घाई जैसा आदमी है इसलिए नहीं कह रहा हूं मैं कि वो मेरे दोस्त हैं मेरे मोहसिन हैं और मैं उन्हें बहुत अजीज और वो मेरी बहुत इज्जत करते हैं इसलिए नहीं कह रहा आप उस आदमी की जिंदगी को एक बार पलट के देख लीजिए एक स्ट्रगलर जिसने बहुत कोशिश करके एक इंस्टीट्यूट में दाखला लिया पढ़ा बाहर निकले एक एक्टर की हैसियत से कोशिश की कामयाबी नहीं हुई राइटर बने उसमें अपना सिक्का जमाया उसके बाद डायरेक्टर बने प्रोड्यूसर बने और आज वो इस विस्लीवुड की वजह से एक लेजेंड एक लैंडमार्क बन चुके हैं बात होती है कि हमको इंस्पायर होना है किन लोगों से इंस्पायर होना है कैसे इंस्पायर होना है मैं समझता हूं कि आपके अपने पास आपकी अपनी बिल्डिंग के अंदर एक इंस्पिरेशन मौजूद है हम सब जानते हैं कि दिवाली तब तक नहीं मनाई जा सकती जब तक दिए ना हो और सुभाष घाई और विस्लिंग बुड ये दिए बनाने का कारोबार कर रहे हैं ये दिए जो पिछले कुछ साल से जल रहे हैं और अभी और जलेंगे जब ये रोशन होंगे तो मुझे पूरा यकीन है कि न सिर्फ ये कि अपना नाम रोशन करेंगे बिस्लिंग वुड का नाम रोशन करेंगे अपनी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री का नाम रोशन करेंगे बल्कि अपने मुल्क का नाम रोशन करेंगे और इससे बड़ी रोशनी हमें और क्या चाहिए मैं आप सब लोगों को दिल से मुबारकबाद देता हूं और मुझे यकीन है कि जो कुछ आज मैंने देखा जो प्रोमोज मैंने देखे जिन बच्चों का मैंने काम देखा मुझे यकीन है कि ये वो लोग हैं जिनके रास्ते में कहीं अंधेरा नहीं है सिर्फ रोशनी है सिर्फ रोशनी आप लोगों का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सुभाष जी का बहुत शुक्रिया 
मिसलिंग गुड का बहुत शुक्रिया और ये एहसान कि मुझे कमल हासन जैसे जैसी शख्सियत के साथ बिठाया गया और साथ अवार्ड दिया गया ये दोहरा एहसान है जिसे मैं हमेशा याद रखूंगा थैंक यू वेरी मच I would now request Kamal ji to address the convocation with his keynote address. Tambe bana kam. Sadiqi sahab, Subhash ji, Mekna ji. my friends the faculty students tomorrow's moving image makers namaste vanakam nandri shukriya thank you i thank hari ji for introducing me sometimes me to me <laughs> uh, the only chagrin is he need not have mentioned about my birthday i'm doing my best this is the best acting <laughs> i have done so far to look 50 or 45 or whatever i imagine i am but anyway the the reason why uh be put on this act is since it's a keynote address let me go to the key of my survival writers do not write roles for older people <laughs> they always write for younger people so we all try to look young that's a key and um, but think times are changing I mean Amiji is a great example so I know at least I have another 15 years ahead <laughs> and uh, I'm very nervous I'm very comfortable with question answers where I ask questions and I get angry or happy and I answer these keynote addresses speaking from the podium pontification is something that i'm not good at i'm at meander uh, but then you asked for it <laughs> so here i go i i'm as sadiqi saab said there's nothing much to say when the best of your mentors have spoken here as subhaji rightly said please for whatever you believe in heaven earth or whatever for that sake do not believe that you have completed education of cinema that would be your undoing and fortunately not going to school has permanently kept me in a state of apprehension and trepidation that i have to learn more a little degree and that square hat on my head would have ruined me or spoiled me and uh, now i have the opportunity of learning whenever i am introduced as a high school dropout it pleases me because there are so many teachers who come up to doesn't matter i'll teach you a few tricks so i learn so uh, being introduced as a high school dropout is much more worthy than that square hat not that i'm looking down or <laughs> demeaning it just when you're going to receive it but please remove that hat after you receive that honor and do not rest on it let it rest 
the, I'm not being poetic here. I'm, not, I'm being very practical because the tools that you've learned your trade on are going to change. That fantastic 11.1 or 13.1 that you have in your college, which, which is enviable, because um, when I first saw it, I wanted it for myself, my film. And it happened thanks to Van Balen, my friend, and um, thanks to my naivety and uh, the ignorance of my distributors. I said, with this, the film will collect, and they believed it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it did also. But even if it hadn't, I would have brought the technology in, and that's what mattered to me. Because the tools are secondary. It's you who use it uses it that's going to make it, and you can always sharpen it, make a better tool. So within six months, the same Van Balen is going to bring in something that will be installed in your institute, hopefully, and you'll have to come back, go back to school to know what's new. That's what we, I do. That's what when Hari Saab said, I'm excited every day. I go to the, I'm one of the very few actors you'll find in NAB, or for that matter, I come to a Writers' Association meeting, a screenplay workshop. I try to run one. It's not because I want to teach people, because I want to keep abreast of what's happening. It's a very selfish, it's nothing philanthropic about it. And the reason I came here is because I can see what are the new films you're making. I want to know what my competition is going to be tomorrow. And believe me, I have an injured leg, so making it shake is not good. <laughs> and you've done it. So I'm looking forward to competing with you. It doesn't matter if either of us fail. Cinema will win. I remember when my late friend Balamendra, I have, I'm very angry with him for making very less number of films. He's not here to defend himself so I can really show my anger. I always tell him that he's not that he's lazy, he, he simply doesn't agree with the pontification that's laid out to him. He doesn't want to do. And that's exactly what I don't. There were a group of people, even uh, Mr. Hariharan here, the fact that he went into teaching he was because he was so angry with the existing industry. It didn't allow him to make films. Well, you, you should be thankful that he became angry and didn't succumb. And let me tell you a parallel of uh, Subhaji and myself. I wanted to be only a director and never thought much about actors. I mean, I know Subhaji is one too, but still. <laughs> I, never, I never thought much of actors. I thought they were tools to a purpose which is more superior. The, the making of a movie was more important. And I thought then, in my ignorance, that only the director was capable of that. Later, as you learn, I realized this is the most democratic art process. And nobody, there's the audio theory and all, salam to it, but I would still think that it is a democratic process. Somebody fails you, the film will fail. It will be almost a great film, but for the bad cinematography, but for the bad acting, but for the bad makeup, or something or the other will creep, uh, crop up and make it a lesser movie. And I have had that happen to me when I thought I had a fantastic movie, and they would say that, I wish you had better actors and a better cinematographer. So films have failed. In spite of uh, the mighty me, it failed. So it, it is, I have been humbled so many times into understanding that this truly is a democratic art, and probably the biggest assimilator of all arts. It's very versatile, and it's going to be, Stop being, uh, people are going to stop calling it cinema. It, it's going to become something else. And we'll be, you'll know our age when we still call it film, cinema, 
it's going to be just moving images, and uh, it's going to go places. And I'd love to be left behind, leaning on my easy chair, and see you gray old guys trying to make films. I hope uh, uh, medicine and cinema makes me live that long. <laughs> and I was, I, I was halfway, as I told you, I'm not a great, I, I don't take notes, I'm not a great keynote <laughs> address deliverer. But I was telling you, here's a man who wanted to become an actor, and he came in and took up the most difficult job. The easiest job is that of an actor, especially becoming a star. Uh, star actor, that is. Then you really want to become an actor, you'll have to work for the money. But if you're a star, you don't have to. He, he has seen that side of it also. He's paid stars, so he knows, <laughs> through the nose, I guess. And uh, I am a reluctant actor, but for Mr. K. Balachandra, I wouldn't be here in this podium, and there wouldn't be a repertoire like that for you to see. He told me that do not entertain that idea because I see a rising star in you. I don't want you to come to studio in an auto rickshaw. You might, the way you, you are, you might make that kind of movie which may not run. 